I got to visit Lake Mead three weeks ago to see just how low it is. Two weeks ago, I made a video about why it's so low, so I recommend watching that one too. The problem I found is that it's hard to grasp just how low the reservoir is unless you visit. While these photos do not do it justice, I'll try to show just how low the reservoir is. One more thing. These photos were taken when the water level was at 1,043 feet and the reservoir was at around 25% capacity. As of releasing this video, it has basically the same water level and capacity. The easiest place to see how low it is is right by the Hoover Dam. The water used to reach all the way to where the rocks turn from light to dark. If you look at these pillars, the water used to reach all the way up to here. This is a photo of the emergency overflow area for when the water level gets too high. As you can see, the current water level is nowhere near that high. If we look at these photos, which are taken from the top of the dam, you may be thinking that it doesn't actually look that low. I don't have a good way of showing that that section of white stone is actually massive, but looking at the cars can give some sense of scale. Again, the reservoir is at around 25% capacity. You also have to remember that there is a lot of silt buildup right before the dam. If you look at the other side of the dam and see how deep the canyon is, you will be fooled into thinking it holds a ton of water. Much of the remaining space below the water level on the reservoir side of the dam is being used up by the silt. Another place where it is very easy to see how low the water level is is near this boat. This boat and the sandy hills behind it used to be completely submerged, and now the water level is well below them. This is one of the many boats that has been uncovered as the water level has dropped, and it paints a perfect picture of how dire the situation really is at Lake Mead. Visiting the boat launches and the roads down to the water also provides some perspective. The water has gotten so low that only one of the docks is still open. This is one of the areas where you can't launch boats anymore, and you can see how far down the water level has gone. In the same area, there is a hotel which used to be right on the water. As you can see, it is now nowhere near the water. This is the area where you can still launch boats. You can see just how much pavement they've had to add so people can drive all the way to the water. Many of the roads down to the water also have signs of the previous water levels. This is where the water level was in 2000, the last time it was very high, at the one boat launch that is still open. It's astounding how low the water level has gotten. Another place you can easily see how much water the reservoir has lost is here. This is the water intake for Las Vegas. Basically, it's where the water that is used in Vegas is pulled from the reservoir. You can see how incredibly far above the water it is. As you've seen, climate change has caused Lake Mead to become critically low. If you want to learn more, Go check out my other video about why it is so low and how this affects the southwestern U.S.